Hello, this is Ella. And today, I thought that it'd be a fun video if I drew Pokemon as humans. I mentioned this in my drawing objects as characters video that I wanted to make a video like this, so I thought I'd go ahead and do it. So I went on random Pokemon generator and I got four Pokemon and I looked at all of them and I just like just wanted to draw whatever one gave me inspiration first. So that one was Par Parasect, I think is how you say. Um, so uh, as as I usually do, I made a mood board. I looked up and did like some research about the Pokemon because I'm not super well versed in Pokemon lore and all that junk. So uh, the first thing that I that came to mind, like the second I saw this Pokemon was that the eyes are gonna definitely be glasses. Uh, I just like use that as like a base to like build upon. So some things that I like thought about was maybe I'll make them kind of like hunched over and a little bit short because maybe they're um, they're like a college student and they're very like, oh, oh, okay, yeah. So basically doing my research, it said that it's like kind of one of those like zombie, like ants, like plant things, like parasites that like take the ant and like kind of use it as like a like a host or whatever so i thought like dead tired college student and then i also saw that it was um like there's spores i guess the mushroom spores are used as medicine so they're a med student uh going to college and they have a lot of books i thought of playing around giving them like a beanie that's in the shape of the mushroom but i eventually settled on a backpack because i just thought that beanie didn't really fit the character their hair is in the shape of like the claws and like the little legs of the creature. I gave them a very rounded head because the creature's head is very round and I kind of wanted to like take each bit and like parts of like the shapes and like try to convey it onto the character to the best of my ability. Uh, and then taking like the theme that I gave the pair, the Pokemon, which was, you know, college tired med student and just kind of like incorporate it all together into one piece and see if it worked well. Another thing is I made the character short because this Pokemon's like three feet long, uh, not that tall. Um, the handles of their backpack, I made the claws as well. And you can't really see it because it gets covered, but when I'm sketching, you can see that I made the eyebrows also claw shaped. For the color palette, I wanted to make sure that I kept everything relatively just like I just took everything from the Pokemon and like put it on like there I even like the skin tone I just like took like the lightest shade of the orange and like put it on there I was playing around with the colors at first it looked like Velma and then it looked like Dora and I was just like okay we're just gonna make your sweater yellow um just so it doesn't look like Dora or Velma but I am honestly am pretty happy with how this one turned out I thought it was a little simple at first because I didn't like go crazy with the details and stuff but I think that it I think you could tell what it is and I think that that's cool all right next was go lurk I think is how you say um doing research on that Pokemon I found that like it was based on Roman armor and some other inspirations are like the Statue of Liberty and golems and things like that. The first thing I saw automatically to spur inspiration was like the skirt light thing. So I wanted immediately, I wanted to give this person like a skirt. So I didn't want to just like draw someone in Roman armor. So somewhere along the line when I was like thinking, I thought roller derby. So I wanted to draw like a buff roller derby girl. <laughs> and so I made her head more like uh, rectangular kind of like to match the face i gave her rectangular square-ish eyelashes so they're not like kind of normal eyelashes they're more like square so it's more like a stylized option same with um like the under part of the eye too i gave her a scar on her tummy i just made it yellow because i just wanted it to match the uh same as the golurk so it's not like accurate uh, body wise but maybe it's you know maybe it's just like a cool like cover up or something or a tattoo who knows to connect the kind of armor with the roller derby i made her knee pads and her arm pads uh have the same like symbol that the golurk has on the like on the shoulders and on the gloves and stuff uh which is like that little swirl thing i kept all the colors from the golurk to put on there and kind of just like played around with it to make sure that, like I thought that looked well. Uh, so like the bra is like kind of like a different color than the skirt, but like the colors tie in in different parts of the outfit. I'm pretty happy with this one overall. What else did I have on here? Uh, I gave the helmet so it had the little dent thing that the Golurk has. And that's pretty much it after I colored it. So the next one that I decided to do was grab lot because I wasn't ready to do, um, what's his name? Wingull. So 
what I decided to do is obviously first off the Pokemon has like kind of like a wrestling vibe and like wrestling elements so I did some research on like different types of like wrestling in different like places it said that the the Grablot's body was made of nothing but muscle um and it returns to the sea after it fights so I need to like chillax I thought that was kind of cute I was like looking up like the origins of it too and it said that it says it's octopus with like a jujitsu style like fighting motifs. Also, it wears a mask and the tentacle around the waist resembles like the martial arts belt. Uh, it also mentions something to do with octopus wrestling, which I looked up and that it's like super messed up. So that's like, I think uh, one of it said that it could possibly be one of the inspirations behind why it's uh, an octopus. Uh, kind of crazy. Um, I found this quote by this one wrestler talking about how like when they put the mask on they feel like transformed so I was gonna do like a superhero vibe because that makes sense so I went with uh I gave the guy a mask I gave him kind of more like baggier like kind of um fighter pants I gave them the belt that uh, has like little tentacle circles around it uh, I gave him Raycon earbuds because I thought that that little circle by the octopus's face was fitting uh, for the hair. I gave him like dreads to be like kind of like the octopus arms and I have it like kind of put up in like a high ponytail um, to kind of tie back more into like the more like jujitsu style fighting uh, and like the having the hair out of the face because that's like something that I feel like would be happening. I gave the pose that I made, I made it like kind of similar to the uh, this Pokemon, but he's a little, he comes off a little less angry, a little more tired because uh, you can't really see his eyebrows that well with the mask, but I'm pretty happy with how it looks. The pants too, I made it the shape of like kind of like, it's like a, the, the Grabalot's like shape for like the front part, it's kind of like a V. So I made it like a V shape too for like the pants. And I gave him like a little like, I don't know what those things are called, but the things that people wear in wrestling over his shoulders. I don't know, I'm really happy with it. I think he's kind of cute. But yeah, on to the last one. Oh my goodness. Uh, so the last one was Wing Wingull. And I did some research like I did for all the other Pokemon. And it's, it's just a seagull. <laughs> uh, so it didn't really help me that much. I thought of, um, someone gave me the idea of pilot because uh, that's like, you know, bird, plane. Uh, someone told me to do like a parasol. I thought that could have been like a cool idea. They said that might have been like a neat idea. I thought that the colors kind of gave off like a sailor vibe. And then at one point I... I thought that maybe like a very excited mailman mixed with like sailor would be kind of cute. And since they're, it's so small and just kind of like a small version of a seagull, I made them a kid, um, like a little happy little mailman. So there isn't too much to say about this uh, other than like for the pose, I made her like flapping her hands around really excitedly to kind of give off the vibe of like, you know, bird flapping. I gave her like kind of like a poncho thing, I think is what it's called. Um, to look more like kind of like wings. I gave her a hat that looks like a beak. Her bangs kind of have like the shape of the um, wings and I kind of follow that pattern throughout. The um, the rectangles in the, the back of like the tail being like the dress and her hair shape. Uh, just taking like the ribbon too and giving it the same shape as the wings. Nothing too fancy for this one, but um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it overall. I think, I think she's really cute. Okay, yeah, there they all are. I'm I'm actually really happy with how all of these turned out. I kind of want to do this again sometime. Maybe I will. 